Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new, this may be your first time coming across my channel, watching one of my videos, which means you are probably not yet subscribed. Welcome, my name is Tyler with an O, and for those of you who are already my people, already subscribed, and are just returning for another video, welcome on back. So um, let's just go ahead and get into these fashions for the Grammys 2020 red carpet. And you know, I'm just going mosey on over here so we can put our fashions over here i think the grammys are going on like as we speak but the red carpet has already happened so now i'm i'm seeing that so let's see what they're giving but who do we have first lala milan let's talk about lala milan so the girl has been out the girl has been booked the girl has been invited to a lot of the things and she i don't know what it is i mean she ain't got nothing done but she has just glue up glowed up I don't I don't know why like her makeup and she be doing her own makeup and stuff she probably didn't for this because it's like the Grammys but I don't hate it but I don't love it I mean it's cute it's whatever I like the color I, I don't know it's cute but I just want to give her credit because like in elsewhere that she has been seen uh, there was like a courtside basketball event that she went to where she just looked amazing and there was another event where I was just like wow like hair was dipped girl like she she was doing it but this I don't hate it but I don't love it I like the color I like the idea I love the exaggerated elongated sleeve but something about it I just I don't know. I don't know if maybe it needs to, I, I don't know. I don't know. This just is it. I don't know. Something about it ain't sitting right with me. Lana Del Rey. I, I mean, I guess that's what y'all like. Like, that's that's what y'all like her for. I, I guess that's her thing. Very mother of the bride. Very going to a gala with my husband, but we're both retired in 60 or... I guess I do a Lipa. She's a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl. Um, this is a no. No, it's just it's just, I, it's it's not cute for no other reason more than it's just it's just not cute. I mean, yeah, you did a tank top in a in a skirt combo, which is different, but the hair's not cute. I don't like the root. I don't like that you did a blue eyeshadow with this, which I love a blue eyeshadow. I just. Mm -mm. Um, who else we got? Girl, what the hell is this? What is this? What am I looking at? What? What is this? I, bitch, if they got the nerve to have the camel toe boots on, well, white boot at that. What am I looking at? What is this? What are we? I'm not even, girl. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, but you're not gonna do it on this channel today. Ooh, Quavo and Sweetie, they both look good. Quavo has a is a handsome man he has a nice mouth beautiful lips and would just look stunning with beautiful white teeth i'm not one for all the hardware in the mouth i'm just it, it's not my thing it's not my gig it doesn't do it for me but i love this suit that he has on i love the color on him i love the red i love the sheen to it a little hardware on there okay cute I, I love this i love this and i will always go up for a man who goes outside of just the standard black and white tux Always. So I give him his tins. His hair looks nice. Nice and done. But sweetie girl, sweetie girl, she is, she ate this up. This dress is on. On, honey. This dress is on her. Oh, she's wearing that. You are wearing that, girl. She did that. Maybe not the earrings, but everything else, yes. I like the soft glam on the face, not too much, where you could have went a lot. I love the color in the stones, the little open cut right there, the nail, the hip, the pose. Girl, she did that. She did that. Sweetie, yes. Ella May. Um, I just, I just feel like, first let me just say, this hairstyle is not the best style for your head shape. You're giving very Lego head in the top, all right. I like the top of this dress, how it's strapless, but has those two little, those little hooks at the top. I think that is cute, stunning. 
The bottom half of the dress, for some reason, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know what it is about it. I'm not feeling it. I don't like this hem. That, like, the, the, it looks like they, like, last minute, like, hemmed the fabric on the end where it may have been, like, frayed. I don't, I don't know. I don't like this. Um, I don't, I don't like this. Heidi Klum. I feel like we see this look a lot on Jennifer Lopez. It doesn't this give you very much Jennifer? Doesn't it give you very J Lo? I don't know what it is about. I well, I mean the bangs, the blonde, okay, the 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 deep open robe type of Versace type of silhouette. I, we we've seen this look before. John Legend. Now I know I just got finished saying that I go up for a man who goes away from the regular black and white tux, but I can't give him hit tens for this. But I I will give him props. I'll give you. I'll give you something for this, but I just, I don't know, I don't like this, <laughs> I don't like this, I, maybe if it was in black, it would have been, I don't like this, I don't like this, I'm sorry, I don't. Chrissy Teigen, yeah, as a couple though, I would have thought you would have wore something that kind of, you know, matched each other just a little bit, like Saweetie and Quavo, both of their stuff, he had the red, she had the jewels on, it had a little red in it, you know, but y'all together, no, um, separate, still no, I'm not a fan, and it's not the top that I hate, I think it's from the chest down of this gown, I don't like, so no, sorry. Comment, Comment is just a handsome man, Comment, yes, in this, in this burgundy, you know I love me a little ox blood girl. No, this ain't even that. This is cranberry. He's giving me very much cranberry. Looking looking real. Looking looking real. And I like that there wasn't a tie with this. I like that it was monochromatic, all one color. He looks very good. Yes, yes, common. Yes, common. Usher. Now I love me some Usher. Usher is uh, I love me some Usher. Girl, this wasn't it for you, sweetheart. Is this a scarf? Is that a velvet scarf you have on? Under this Liberace jet? Girl, I just, I'm sorry. I just, it's different. I know Usher's on like a different vibe right now and everything. I just, this just ain't it. I'm sorry, no. Liza Koshi. I'm not gonna give her too much because I like Liza Koshi. I really like Liza Koshi. This is just a no, and I'm moving on. Her, I love a her. I love a her. Her, I, for the Grammy though, I just, really, I I love it. It's it's beautiful fabric, It's the colors are beautiful. It's, it's art, it's art with the glasses. I'm here for it. It gives me very much like, glamorous vacation in Miami like on a resort pumping out walking like this with it flowing in the way it gives me that it just doesn't give me Grammy Award but it's it's cute I'll give the kimono it's I'm just a little disappointed that's all especially she got a big Super Bowl performance coming up so you know like eyes are on you this is probably the last time that we're gonna see you out photographed dressed up before the for the for before your big Super Bowl commercial debut and everything I just feel like you could have gave us a moment you could have gave us a moment on the red carpet and then did your big thing at the Super Bowl commercial and then drop some music or whatever and you know just a momentum but I just feel like something about this is just very like uh, Okay. Oh, who is this? J.I.D.? Is that, is it Jid or is it J.I.D.? He's a, a musician. I listen to a lot. I like this. I like this. I like this. And I like the, the crossing of that, that white that's connecting the orange over top of this. I love this. I love the undone white shirt with the chains underneath, the matching bag, the stripe down the pant. This is nice. I like this. I like this a lot. J.I.D. I love this. I like that the hair kind of has the, with the headband. It's just giving very like sophisticated chaos, you know, controlled chaos, that type of thing where it's just a lot going on. But it's still very put together. Like the, the, the shape and the tailoring of this orange that he got going on. Everything is well fitted. Everything looks great. I love it. Even with the undone, with the undone sleeve, with the, the cuff, with the watch underneath. This is great. I like this. This is a look. I like, I like this a lot. FKA Twigs. Now, 
I'm gonna give her her moment. I love the hood. I think that it's very dramatic. It's giving, it's giving, girl. This, I, I love this. I love this look. Um, I like it. She is very artistic in this way to where this, this isn't, it doesn't shock me. And she pulled it off. Like, she can pull this off. I don't like stuff like this, but she, she did this. She carried. I'm here for it. Billy Bartholomew Bethlehem Bermuda Porter. Oh, he ate. He ate the girls up. He's eating the girls up. He's eating them up. Yes, absolutely. Every, let me, now this, this one we gonna have to break down. The hat, now for y'all, I know this is just a picture, but the hat actually went in front of the face and had a mechanical little thing that opened up to reveal the face. Get into the face, get into this makeup, the eye, yes, the chrome lip, yes. I don't know what that dot is, is that a pearl? I don't know, but the choker, the color of it all, gorgeous. The way it fits his body with this little jacket all over top, such a good touch. The little spider thing on the arm, the little, the, yes. The fringe at the bottom with the boot, this is, this is it. This is cute. For Grammy, maybe not, but nonetheless, this is a look. I don't know a girl who could pull this off. I can't imagine any female celebrity on the red carpet in this this is a look this is a thing he did a thing you did that you did that billy yes ariana grande pause comment down below what you guys think of ariana grande's look i'm, I'm just curious and i wonder what you expect me to say about it but i'm about to say what i'm about to say unpause i'm here for it mostly the thing that got me that really made me like love this is that it's gray you would have expected, I think, what, Rihanna did this look in pink. Uh, I've seen, was it Lizzo who did it in orange? Like, I mean, I mean the big tool with the poof, the loofah look. I, we see it, but we see it in colors. And gray just kind of brought it back to earth a little bit. It added a lot of class to it. And I really, I really am appreciating the gown in gray. Like, that was so good. On her with like the, the ponytail, it worked. I like this, and I don't like ruffles. I don't like the tool. I don't like the the whole fairy, fairy godmother type of aesthetic. I'm not that. I'm not that. But this, yeah, yeah. Billy Eilish. That's Billy. That's Billy. Billy's a beautiful girl. Okay. Um. I just probably, I, someone like me could never style Billie Eilish because we wouldn't see eye to eye. I don't see eye to eye with, with her on this, um, but I'm going to let her have that. You do that, girl. Lizzo. Okay, Lizzo. Lizzo is serving very much glamour in this, and that's the theme of the look. And so for that reason, the execution was great. Of course, when you think Hollywood glamour, you think a deep side part with the nice little curly wave. And what is she giving? That. A nice soft glam on the eye, to be expected. The necklaces are cute. Um, I like the cut of the dress, the gown. It's, it's a great, with the fur boa, it's, it's, it's classic. She's giving a classic look here. And she's doing it well. Nikita Dragon. Nikita is stunning. Nikita is a beautiful girl. Nikita is gorgeous. Okay, so let's just start there. However, even like cutting off the, from the neck up, I'm not necessarily a fan. I've seen her in better lips than this. Like I feel like a nice nude brown lip. The color of that hair, but on the lip, would have been sickening. I feel like she should have stuck with, or even maybe a dark chocolate brown hair, but like black hair. I should, I should, she should have did the, the hair. I don't like this dress. I don't like the the bubbles on it. I just, I just, this was a miss. And I've seen Nikita. We see Nikita look so good all the time. But on that note, in conclusion, with best dressed, best dress for me, for the girls. I would say 
Saweetie. Saweetie took best dress for me for the Royals because that that everything about it just looked so good. Best dress for the guys, which you guys probably already know. Well, actually, you probably don't. Who do you think it is? I know you think it's between Billy Porter or JID. But I'm gonna give it to JID. Although I did go up for Billy Porter, JID, that look, that's a look that I want. I would love to wear that on a red carpet. That that was that was so cool. Like it was cool. And I don't even really describe fashion like that. Like, oh that's cool. But like that was cool. Like that was a cool ass look. As far as worst dress though, I don't even know why I'm acting like I need to decide. That thing. I don't even know what the name was or whatever, but her picture gonna be up here. Looked a whole fool. Looked a fool. Amogen, Amogen heap, girl. I'm not even gonna give you too much because I know that you tried to look a mess. Like this is uh, even with the hair, you tr you tried it, and so girl, congratulations, you won worst dress. But yeah, y'all, that is going to conclude today's red carpet review. Hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below who you thought deserved best and worst dress. Who were your faves? Who were your flops? Mm -hmm. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with the no goodness. And I will catch you all on my next video. Peace.